Noche de Tumulto, San Miguel de Allende. The night of the storm in San Miguel, we were sleeping in our posada close to the sky on the Alto Plano, surrounded by choya cactuses and trembling mesquite and dozing volcanoes, when the storm rode in and woke us with its thunder, the rain rattling down through the bougainvillea and rolling off the pocked and striated stones of the sidewalks of the Pueblo, turning walls from the color of mangoes to the color of bull's blood, washing the dust from the cobblestones and the tile roofs and the rose-colored dome of the convento, darkening the black-spotted volcanic rock walls and the crumbling Baroque facades of the Santiarios and the pink Gothic flames of La Porquilla. And then it moved on over the fields, drenching the black lava soil and the papayas and guavas hanging heavily on the trees and the flat roofs of houses, their horns of rebar protected from lightning by upside down bottles. And it disappeared over the Sierra, and we fell back to sleep in the house of the moon. But suddenly, the storm returned, and this time it stayed for hours, lightning charging the darkness like silver on velvet, lighting the rooms just seconds before the thunder broke and rolled on, almost forever, and then filling the spaces Bells began pealing wildly, and all the stone towers reaching up to the clouds. And then, out of nowhere, came the fireworks, fusillades bursting above us in spirals and showers. And we remembered this was the feast of Corpus Christi, the holy body, spirit incarnate, in stone and high desert and hot springs and masa and street dogs and old trucks and calla lilies and tropical birds in the trees of the hardeen and small fish falling from the sky and prickly pears and rooftop flower pots and wet walls of indigo blue so that when we heard the brass band and the mariachis passed by as the storm stopped and dawn was arriving. No one was really surprised. <laughs>